Chapter 8, Lesson 2 is on page 365. We're going to do the substitution method today. In Chapter 8, Lesson 1, we did the graphing method, which means you need to have some graph paper, but there's got to be a better way, and sure enough, uh, Lesson 2 gives us a substitution method. As it says, we're going to be substituting something for something. That's kind of a clue. Let's get started with number 5. y is equal to 2x minus 5, and 3y minus x is 5. Substitution. Let's substitute wherever there's a y, 2x minus 5. So y is equal to 2x minus 5. And I'm going to substitute that right in there. Wherever there is a y, I'm going to substitute 2x minus 5. So let's give it a shot, see what happens. So in equation number 2, we have 3 times the quantity of 2x minus 5 minus x is equal to 5. So I'm substituting the first one into the second one. So let's do some wacky arrows. So we end up with 6x minus 15 minus x is equal to 5. We have 5x minus 15 is equal to 5. We have 5x is equal to 20. So I think that makes x equals 4. So we're not done yet because we have x is equal to 4, but we've got to find out what y is. So up here in the first or second equation, it doesn't matter, you're going to substitute an x in and see if we can solve for y. So I'm going to take that x equals 4, and I'm going to stick it in to this first equation and solve for y. So then y turns out to be equal to 2 times x, which is 4, minus 5. So 2 times 4 is 8, 8 take away 5, y turns out to be 3. So the ordered pair that we found for the solution using substitution is x is 4 and y is 3. All we do is we substitute from one equation into another equation. Sometimes we have to multiply something on both sides, and we'll talk about that in just a sec. Chapter 8, Lesson 2, page 365, number 27. This is a word problem, so word problems sometimes take a little more concentration. It says the difference between two numbers is 18, okay? And we're going to be doing this. Um, oh, sorry, I thought this was another problem, so let me get rid of this for now. So we won't have to worry about this for now. So number 27 says we have the uh, difference between two numbers is 18. So x minus y is going to be equal to 18. Obviously, x is one number, and y is the second one. The second equation says the sum of twice the smaller number. Well, obviously, y must be the smaller one, and x must be the bigger one, because we have the bigger one take away the smaller one is 18. And then it says that uh, the sum of twice the smaller and three times the larger is 74. So three times the larger is 3x. The sum is plus. Two times the smaller is going to be equal to the sum of 74. Let's just review that. We got the smaller number is y. The bigger number is x. We got x minus y is 18. Three times the bigger number plus two times the smaller number is 74. I'm going to substitute. Um, here, I'm going to say x is equal to 18 plus y. I just added y to both sides. And then I'm going to substitute that over here. See what we can do. So we have 3 times the quantity of 18 plus y plus 2y is equal to 74. Again, x minus y is 18. I added y to both sides plus y plus y. So x turns out to be 18 plus y. I'm going to substitute that over here where there's an x. And let's see what we can do for the y. So we have 54 plus 3y plus 2y is equal to 74. This looks like 54 plus 5y is equal to 74. Oh, this looks nice. This looks like 5y turns out to be equal to 20. And y turns out to be equal to 4. I subtracted 54 from both sides. 74 take away 54 is the 20. 5y is 20, so y is equal to 4. So we're almost done. I've got the y value. But now I've got to find the x value. And I've got x minus y is equal to 18. 
so x turns out to be equal to 22. I plugged in the y is for 4, so something take away 4 is 18, x turns out to be 22. So the ordered pairs for this solution using substitution method turns out to be x is 22, y is equal to 4. That's it for today. See everybody back tomorrow.